Okay, so let me give you a breakdown of all these exercises. <clears throat> Eight on a hand. Uh, something you should know a whole lot about. We're going to be playing legato strokes. Eight of them on a hand. Uh, legato basically means smooth and connected. We have two, four basic strokes. Two main strokes that we use in marching percussion. We have the legato stroke, which starts up, ends up. Basically, you throw the stick down and it bounces back to your hand. We have staccato too, which you'll see a lot. Okay? Uh, so the legato, the eight on a hand stroke, should be just like bouncing a basketball. The stick just bounces right back up to your hand. You don't have to pick it up afterward, it just bounces right back. Okay? So that is what eight on a hand is all about working that legato stroke. You'll notice that's in just about everything. In fact, the word legato is in the name of the exercise. That means it's pretty important. <coughs> okay, so we have eight on a hand, we repeat that, and between there is a tenor cue. We go to eight in eights to sixteenths, and eights to sixteenths is a legato warm-up. Basically, we're just putting the hand in between our uh, right hand. So if you look, our right hand should do the same thing the whole exercise. So your right hand stays legato that whole time when we're doing right hand lead. Our left hand stays legato when we do left hand lead. Just doing eighth notes the whole time. So we should be doing the same as eight on a hand, just with notes in between it. Make sure that we keep our uh, sticks even. We don't want to do something like this. I just showed you that before, just as an example. We want to have two even strokes. Okay, and be sure that you can mark time through all these exercises. When it goes to lefty, it's a little tricky because you're starting on left hand, so you really want to lock those feet in. Feet are as important as the hands in this business. All right. Then we go to sixteenth timing. Sixteenth timing is a legato exercise. <sighs> Catching a trend. If we look, our hand do doesn't change through the whole thing. We look at my right hand. Doesn't look familiar. The way we get to the second part is the left hand. Okay, so this whole thing should be as legato is eighths to sixteenths. We're just putting in the rhythm. So the first rhythm is one e ends, one e n, two e n, three e n, four e n. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay, right hand is steady throughout. The next rhythm is the one and a rhythm. One and a two and a three and a four and a. And that is a right hand steady threat too. Keep that legato happening. Okay, the third rhythm is one E, a two E, a three E, a four E. One E, a two E, a three E, a four E. Chances are if you can't say these rhythms in B, you won't be able to play them. So you should just count that before you do it. One E, a two E, a three E, a four E. Oh. <coughs> and in that exercise we have double lefts. Last one is e and a, e and a, e and a, e and a. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Oh, can't talk and play. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Okay? So that's a left legato throughout that whole thing. Alright? So just remember that this hand should be doing this the whole time. Just remember that the feet are as important as the hands, like I said. So we gotta get those feet in those in those rhythms too. The E and our rhythm, the fourth variation, will take many minutes. Be patient, but do it. Kind of like a drum set thing. Your feet and hands don't match up. All right, so that's a big one. Get that sixteenth timing. Practice that with the feet until you go crazy, and then when you go crazy, practice it again. Okay. That goes right into the countdown, and the countdown is an eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two legato thing. So we're just doing odd number legato strokes. Kind of a warm down type exercise. So we could get our hands kind of relaxed before we start the next thing. 
but the uh, feet are going to play a big part in this. So the feet match the beaming. So in the 7, 8, we have 2 plus 2 plus 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Our feet are going to do the same. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. In 6, 8, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right? So you got to get your feet in with the right timing. So I don't know if you could see, but I'll stomp loud so you can hear that. So that's kind of a foot exercise, the countdown. But I had a little bonus just for you guys. Technique wise, the eight on a hand, the seven on a hand, six, five, four, three, set you up for the double beat, which is on page two. So that two on a hand at the end of your countdown is the same thing we want for our double beat. The technique doesn't change, it just gets faster. So this is also two on a hand, just like when you were doing it slow. So you have that. So let's get right to the double beat. The double beat is going to use the two on a hand throughout. So we set it up. I'm going to give you each one of your variations. We have four variations to it. It's a double and triple um, beat. So we have the first variation gives you that eight on a hand. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, the very basic one. So basically do that on the right, repeat it with your left. Okay, the feet are going to be just as important in that one, so you're going to have to really work on marking time in uh, imperfect mathematical uh, form in that. You really, really want to make sure that you have the thing, TV thing coming in, uh, the beat coming in all right. Got to keep that coordinate throughout the whole thing, okay? So we do that, that's the first one. The second one has triple beats. And then it repeats off to the left. Uh, the third part is a little tag. So we have a single stroke roll and a double stroke roll. One, two, one, two. Okay. And then we have a basically a double beat with a left fill-in. It's the same as that first part, but with the left hand in it. So the right hand's loud, the left hand's soft. Okay, we go into the third variation, and it's kind of the half of the beginning. Okay. So we do that with the left hand, then we go to a triple beat for the fourth part. And that's kind of the same as the, the part before it, just the triples. Repeat that off the left, and then the ending tag is this. We have a paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle, right, left, right, right, left, left. Then we have double paradiddle. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Into a paradiddle. So the first bar is parapet. Paradiddle, diddle, par, paradiddle, paradiddle. Ah, diddles. Okay, and then the last part is uh, kind of a inverted paradiddle thing. Almost like we did before with that left hand fill in. Actually, it's the same thing, just well, right hand isn't high. Okay, and the last two beats are, so we do pair diddle diddle thing. All right, so the whole ending tag is this. Oh, I wasn't looking. We go sticks in, somebody's center snare's probably gonna do a little lick, and we all hit hands together, sticks in one hand, side shot. Okay, yeah. and that's the whole legato exercise. Watch this video a bunch of times so you make sure you get all those little details out of it, and I get millions of YouTube hits.